Hello, first grade. I have another edition of Mrs. Smith Storytime. This time I'm going to really try to put the image of the book into the picture. This story is called True or False, and it's about mammals. And you can see on the front we have a zebra. Oh no, that's not a zebra. Mammals are among the most popular pets. True or false? True! Mammals such as dogs and cats are the most popular pets in the United States. Most of us are also very familiar with farm animals, which include pigs, cows, sheep, and horses. Millions of people visit mammals in the zoo, lions and tigers, monkeys and apes, bears and giraffes. Huge or tiny, tame or wild, mammals are familiar to almost everyone. All mammals live on land, true or false? Hmm. False. Many, but not all mammals live on land. Some, such as whales, dolphins, seals, and walruses, make their homes in the sea. Beavers and river otters are mammals that live in freshwater lakes and rivers. Most mammals that swim have bodies that are shaped like boats. This shape helps them to move through the water quickly and easily. All mammals have similar skeletons. True or false? Hmm. False. What? True! <laughs> The skeleton of each mammal is basically the same. Each mammal has a main backbone or spine to support the animal and to help form its body's framework, a skull to protect the brain and eyes, and ribs to guard the heart and lungs. Then there are the limbs and connecting bones that allow the mammal to bend and move. Most mammals are born alive. True or false? True. Almost all mammals give birth to live babies. The young are not hatched from eggs laid by their mother. Instead, they grow inside the mother's body until they are fully developed. In some mammals, such as kangaroos, the tiny babies are born before they are fully developed. They grow bigger in the mother's pouch until they can live on their own. No mammals lay eggs. True or false? Hmm. False. Two kinds of mammals do lay eggs. They are the platypus and the spiny anteater. The platypus's mother lays her eggs in an underground nest and keeps them warm with her body. After the eggs hatch, the young feed on milk that oozes from the mother's skin. The spiny anteater keeps her eggs warm in the fold of skin on her body until they hatch. After they're born, mammals are helpless. True or false? True. Most newborn mammals cannot care for themselves. Some are born blind, hairless, and completely dependent on their mothers. Others can see and hear, but they will need a parent to feed and care for them. A mammal's first food is milk from its mother's body. Mother's milk gives the newborn mammal all the nutrition it needs to grow bigger and stronger. Sea mammals breathe underwater. Hmm. False. Sea mammals breathe air like other mammals do. They cannot breathe underwater. They must come to the surface regularly to get a breath of air. The mammals draw the air into their lungs through their nostrils, then they hold their breath for a long time. Some whales can stay underwater for as long as an hour and a half in between breaths. All mammals have hair or fur, like this little cutie. True or false? True. All mammals have hair or fur, even if it's just a few whiskers. Hair keeps mammals warm and also hides them from attackers by blending them in with their surroundings. Whales have almost no hair. Their smooth, hairless bodies help them swim faster. Porcupines protect themselves with long, sharp quills that are really just hairs that grow together. Mammals keep a steady body temperature. True or false? True. A mammal's body always stays at about the same temperature no matter the weather. This is called being warm-blooded. A lot of mammals' heat energy comes from the food it eats. Also, a coat of heavy fur allows some animals to live in icy cold lands. Feeding at night and resting in water during the day keep other mammals comfortable in very hot conditions. Mammals usually live alone. Hmm. Well, false. Many mammals live in groups rather than by themselves. This is because living with others is safer. Some mammals, such as baboons, live in large groups called troops. The leaders, which are the biggest males, keep the group together. They warn the members 
of danger and stop them from fighting amongst themselves. Kind of like a teacher. All mammals eat meat. True or false? False. Cows and many other animals usually eat plants. These plant eaters are called herbivores. They have flat teeth, kind of like these ones back here, to grind up the plants. Lions and other animals use, are called meat eaters, which are carnivores. They have sharp teeth, like this one, to grab and hold their prey. And some mammals, such as bears, eat about anything. Known as omnivores, many of these animals have both kinds of teeth, like we do. Now, for many of you, you look like jack-o'-lanterns. You're missing all your teeth. I hope you're still able to eat. The question is, bears find all of their food on land. True or false? False. Many bears get food in rivers or the ocean, as well as on land. On land, black, brown, and grizzly bears eat berries, fruits, and nuts. They often eat small animals, too, like mice, squirrels, and ants. These bears also wade into streams to catch and eat salmon and other fish. Polar bears hunt seals, which they catch in the Arctic Ocean. Most mammals live in rainforests. More mammals live in rainforests than anywhere else. True or false? Look at this sloth. Oh, he's so cute. True. Tropical rainforests are home to more mammals and animals overall than any other habitat. This is because dense rainforests have huge amounts of plants available year-round for the plant eaters. And meat-eating mammals can feed on the many birds, insects, and other kinds of animals that live in the rainforest. Some herbivores eat only one kind of plant. True or false? True. A number of plant eaters eat just certain plants, or plants of one kind of plant, parts of one kind of plant. Giant pandas are especially fussy. They like only the shoots, leaves, and stems of the bamboo plant. Koalas are also very particular about they, what they eat. All of their meals consist of leaves from eucalyptus trees. And then I don't know if you can see it, but it does say that first graders are also very particular when they eat. I hope not. All mammals sleep at night. True or false? False. Quite a few different kinds of mammals sleep all day and are awake all night. These are called nocturnal animals. Nocturnal mammals come out at night to seek food. The darkness helps them hide and escape from predators. Mammals that are more active at night than during the day include opossums, skunks, and jaguars. Many nocturnal mammals have big eyes or ears. Hmm. True. Nocturnal mammals have especially good senses of sight or hearing. Many have eyes or ears that seem almost too big for their bodies. Large eyes help tarsiers and other mammals find food in the darkness or dim light. Big ears help the fennec fox hear prey that they cannot even see. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. We did study bats. I hope you know the answer first grade. It's true. Bats are the only known flying mammals. Each bat wing is made up of a thin skin stretched over the bones of the bat's arms, fingers, and legs. Only its feet are not covered with skin. Wings let bats fly and find food in the air that other mammals cannot catch or reach. The elephant is the biggest land mammal. True. Elephants are the world's biggest land mammals. You can see that compared to a truck here. There are two kinds the Asian elephant and the heavier, taller African elephant. The Asian elephant has smaller ears than the African cousin does, and only the males have large tusks. Both male and female African elephants have large tusks. Something else that's kind of neat that you can see in the picture here, African elephants have ears in the shape of Africa. The mouse is the smallest mammal. True or false? False. The kitty's hog-nosed bat takes the prize as the smallest mammal in the world. It is small enough to fit in the palm of your hand with a wingspan of only six inches. It also weighs less than a penny, just a half an ounce or two grams. Cheetahs are the world's fastest mammals. True or false? True. Cheetahs are the fastest of all mammals. Their high speed lets them race across the plains of Africa and catch the swiftest prey. 
Thanks to their streamlined bodies, long, powerful legs, and sharp claws that grip the ground, cheetahs can reach speeds as high as 70 miles per hour, but only for short distances. Many animals, many mammals, live in the desert. True or false? True. Many mammals are equipped to live, live in dry, sandy conditions. Some desert mammals get all the water they need from the seeds, shoots, or animal prey they eat. Larger desert mammals, such as wild camels, can survive for many days without water or food. They usually try to stay out of the daytime heat to keep cool and save water. Fun fact, camels store fat, not water, in their humps on their backs. True or false, humans are mammals too. True. Humans are mammals, just like elephants, dogs, cats, and hippos are. All of us have backbones and similar skeletons. We develop inside our mother's bodies. Human mothers can nurse their babies with milk from their bodies. We're warm-blooded, have hair, and breathe air. Aren't mammals fascinating? Now, we know this is a nonfiction book. Number one, it was giving us true facts. And number two, look at the end. There's an index. Remember, the index tells you what? Oh, that's right. It tells you where you can find certain topics and the pages in the, bo in the book or in the story. This one also has the second page of the index. There you go. And that is our story. I hope you'd enjoyed Mammals, True or False.